The pandemic has appended lives and the careers of America's restaurateurs, among them celebrity chef Marcus Samuelson. And in Washington, President Joe Biden's COVID relief plan includes $25 billion in restaurant aid. But is that enough, especially for harder hit black businesses? And Chef Marcus Samuelson joins us right now. Thank you so much for being here. Chef, you've been really outspoken about supporting the mom and pop restaurants and COVID's impact on black businesses, which is disproportionate. Tell us how you came up with this idea for relief, the Black Business Matters Matching Fund and how it'll work. Wonderful, well, thank you so much for having me. Yes, uh, the fact that there's some movement in Washington, D.C., uh, we definitely need that. And I think this is a tapestry that's gonna be, uh, we need all partners. We need local government and we need federal government to do their part. And then we need really uh, entrepreneurship and partnership across the board, right? So here we created Black Business Matters Matching Fund together with uh, Uber Eats and to give out grants to black businesses that you know, 41% of black owned businesses have already closed and only 17% have closed in the white communities. And, you know, black and brown communities have already been hit harder, uh, uh, disproportionately harder through COVID than any other community, right? Uh, so we really, you know, this fund is really meant to be something that it's true grants and not more debt. The last thing the restaurateurs and mom and pop restaurateurs needs is more debt. So this grant giving is one way to get out of it. Mm -hmm. We need, like I said, local government to help out and we need federal government to help out. So sticking with the grant, who is eligible to apply for them? And is it just for restaurant owners? Uh, it's not just for restaurants, it's for small, it's for, it's for retail in general, right? In black, black businesses in general, because you think about what restaurants are. They're the heart and soul of our communities. They're also evening retail. And once you pull restaurants out of the community, all other retail will go as well. You know, so we look at uh, small barbershops. We look at uh, stores. You know, people are in the community. They're really wants to, they're there to add quality of life, but also pr uh, pr produce jobs in our communities, right? We know that COVID will be in our community and we were impacted more and it will stay in our community longer and we don't have access to institutional money in the same way. So I, for me, I'm really proud about what Project Bento and my team came up with together with Uber Eats uh, to give out grants and creating the matching fund so we can give it to small businesses because when those businesses are closed the doors in our community, is our community is going to go dark and it's going to impact us, all of us, in so many other ways. Mm -hmm. It's important to note that. I mean, these businesses thrive off of foot traffic. And so the entire neighborhood yeah. can go down. And this is how these things happen. And so I want to ask you about something that you talk about in your recently released book, uh, Black Cooks and the Soul of American Food. You likened black cooking in America to black music um, and how it's influenced mm -hmm. America's culture. Can you draw the connection for us again and tell us why it's important to make it? Sure. Well, I mean, when I wrote The Rise that we started, me and Osei started on this journey four years ago, and it was really about ce celebration of black excellence to American food. There are five original cuisines that are derivative of the African-American experience. You know, low country, Southern food, barbecue, Cajun, and Creole. Those are all American food, but they specifically uh, come out of the black experience. And our job is to give it the right authorship to that so people can have the right memories and then also create, you know, truly the right desire to go into our field. When we talk about pop culture and American music, something that we create here, you can't talk about American music without talking about the black experience versus, versus that is gospel, R&B, hip hop, mm -hmm. rock and roll or blues, right? It's clearly defined. People know about it. And uh, everyone knows it in the world, but we also know it in America. Same thing goes for black cooking. The more we know about our food, the more we will celebrate it. Eventually, we're going to start traveling again. And the more we will value it. And if you value something, then you will also assist and support those businesses. And we are in a crisis right now. 
this crisis is not going to go away because we get the vaccine. We we applaud the vaccine. The, the vaccine. the vaccine is an important step, but the symptoms of corona will stay in black and brown and impoverished communities much, much longer. We don't want unemployment to go up. We do not want these businesses to go dark. So, you know, I challenge corporate America, specifically those businesses that have made billions of dollars out of COVID. We know that billionaires have created another trillion dollars in money during COVID. So we challenge those businesses to come back to the table, start supporting Black Business Matters Matching Fund and programs like that so our businesses in the Black and Brown communities can navigate through this period and eventually thrive once again. Chef, what can people who live in these communities practically do to help out their local black businesses? We have a very short time left. If you can share in a minute, please. Yeah. Everyone can help out because it's a virtual. You can go to blackbusinessmattersmatchingfund.org. You can also, you know, support these black businesses by ordering takeout, maybe even ordering a merch. But even if you can't even write a check. Everyone has a skill set. If you love that coffee shop, if you love that store, maybe you can help them with marketing or social media. Maybe you can help them with some skill, that technology skill. Very often, these are mom and pop stores, very often immigrant driven as well. And there could be a language or a technology gap that maybe a younger member of your community or, or your family can help out with. Whether you're a lawyer, you can help out renegotiate a lease with a landlord, tech, or marketing, mm -hmm. or even the the financial books. You know, there's many ways we can help out as communities. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.